Well, in a small, humble office in Harlem, a former asylum seeker is doing what she can to meet growing needs in the West African community. In our series, Migrants in America, Fox 5's Stephanie Bertini shares her story. They persecuted me in my country. He says political persecution forced him to flee Guinea, West Africa, a nation where significant human rights issues are a concern. My life is safe here. I'm not afraid. I'm not, I have no fear here because I, I know that I'm to the United States. He says back home, others told him to head to New York City once he got to the U.S., and that's exactly what he did. I traveled to Istanbul first, after Istanbul, Bogota, from Colombia, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, Mexico, before coming to the United States. He's been here for less than six months, and like many migrants, he's facing challenges. It's, it's a little bit difficult because we don't have no working permit, no social. It doesn't look like much from the outside. But Africana, a grassroots organization in Harlem, is a lifeline for West African migrants like him. This is a safe place. Adam Abba runs the place. She's the founder, too. I'm a former asylum seeker myself. So from asylum to green card to citizenship, it took 16 years to become an American citizen. Ba says she knows firsthand how complicated immigration matters can be. It's very confusing, but especially for black migrants. She says for migrants like the many from West Africa who are in her office daily, immigration issues are compounded by drastic linguistic, cultural and religious differences. For black migrants, it's harder because the anti-blackness starts from South, their journey in South America. They're charged extra. They are looked at different. They don't speak the language. Um, they don't understand the culture. Ba is an activist. She authored a book recounting some of her experience. She's worked with disenfranchised communities for years. Recently, responding to New York City's migrant crisis at the front lines, meeting asylum seekers as they arrive. And here at Africana, she is doing whatever she can to help them transition to a life in America. The first thing we do is ID for you. There is no one that's going to rent an apartment with you if you're walking around with just immigration papers. After filing asylum, migrants are eventually given work permits. The city has been housing many of them in more than 200 emergency shelters established during this migrant crisis. Newly rigid restrictions imposing limits on shelter stays are creating more hurdles, Ba says. There's no stable place for them. So how do they apply for asylum? How do they move out of the shelter system? How do they get their driver's license? How do they get the stuff if they can't even get their mail? I can't imagine how many letters are here. Now, a makeshift mailroom is growing in the back of the office. That's because Ba allows asylum seekers to use the address here to get their mail. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Here at Africana, migrants also get help transitioning their children to school and with enrolling themselves in one important course. Enroll you in ESL school. The reason why we do that for black migrants is because if they don't speak Spanish or English, they have a huge disadvantage. All the services are in Spanish or English. She staffs her office with volunteers, most of them also migrants and asylum seekers. The reality of it is black migrants are not going to go to city and ask for help. They're going to come to people that look like them for help. They're going to go to their houses of worship. They're going to go to their faith institutions that they recognize for help. And even though they feel they are better off here, on this day, this asylum seeker reminds us all what it feels like to miss home and how loved ones like family are irreplaceable. I'm really sad because it, it, it has been like three months I didn't see them. What does the American dream mean to you? For me, it's a, like, it's freedom. Stephanie Bertini, Fox 5 News.